Good morning, everyone. Um, today is Thursday, and I am, <clears throat> excuse me, I am 37 weeks and two days. Um, I'm giving this update a false labor, um, 37 week false labor video um, due to me last night. Um, I had some vomiting and diarrhea, um, TMI, and um, I started having contractions that were um, starting out between one to five minutes apart, and then they became one to three, then one to one. Um, <clears throat> when that was going on, I decided, um, let me go start walking uh, to see what, you know, to see, you know, try to get things moving along, maybe this is it, you know, whatever. Um, so, um, that did, in the process of walking, yes, I was having contractions, taking breaks, a lot going on. <laughs> so, and when I come, um, when I came home, um, that's when they started becoming one to two minutes apart. Now, when I say this, I mean, they were, it was shooting through my back. My back, I felt like it was hollow. I don't even know if hollow is the right word to use, but I was going through it, <laughs> okay? I was, uh, like, my back's hurting a little bit now, having, again, a little contraction when I'm doing the video. I don't understand. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so I was, that was going on, and I'm like, oh, you know, oh, just trying to relax myself and trying to keep it cool. Um, anywho, I end up, um, we end up deciding to go to the hospital. Let me show you my belly. I don't know if you can see, but look at that contraction. You can't see the contraction, but oh my goodness. I don't know if you can tell how tight it is. Anywho, yeah, that bad boy hurts. So, um, get to the hospital, they check my blood pressure, and they noticed that it was a little high, um, so, um, I got immediately hooked up, and they checked my blood levels, and they, um, wanted to do a blood pressure routine thing where you have to lay down, and you have to, um, then sit up on the side of the bed, then you have to stand up. Well, all those, um, they took, they did that three times, and they were all, my, showed my, um, heart rate was high. So they wanted me to have an EKG. They checked my blood levels, um, and they said my sugar was high. I did just eat two hours, I think two hours prior from that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but other than that, that was that. <sighs> Contractions still were coming uh, one to two minutes apart, and then they sometimes would jump to three to five. But they were shooting up to the roof. I don't know if you guys know, you know the machine um, that has a baby heart rate. But on the little side of it, um, like right across, it shows you like how intense like the contraction is getting. So I'm looking at the machine. This bad boy said 100. I'm telling you. I was like, oh, oh no. And I'm, I'm like not necessarily looking at it, but I'm like turned to the side, like trying to get this contraction, work this contraction out. And um, I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, you know, just going through it, breathing trying to you know get through the process we end up getting sent home um i was only one still one in 50 and they said no progression so pretty much they can't um keep you or you're not considered you're not considered an active labor due to your cervix not changing so to me i was in active labor because I was in some serious pain. That wasn't like I was screaming for an epidural because that's just not what I'm going to do until I'm about... If I wanted to, um, which is not my plan, I'm trying to go all natural, but, you know, to uh, five uh, centimeters if that was to get epidural. But anywho, they gave me some Ambien to sleep. I also was letting them know the whole time I was there that I was dizzy. Anywho, so yeah, whew. As I'm tired. <laughs> um, that's just what it, what it was. Um, as of now, um, she did tell me that I need to consider um, leaving work. Um, because I need to start, my body needs to rest a little bit more. Even if I was out there walking um, at the park or something, you know, on a regular basis, I need to, since I work overnight, I need to relax. Um, so she said, they gave me the medicine last night. She said, I don't think you should work Friday. 
Um, but you, you decide. Um, I have a staff meeting that's mandatory tomorrow, so I'll definitely be going to that. But I'm probably going to let them know that I won't be able to come in tomorrow night. Party, party. Oh, excuse me. Um, but other than that, I'm just trying to keep in high spirits, you know. I'm just trying to keep it moving, um, again, you know. Um, so yeah, you guys all have a wonderful weekend, and I will be updating um, my video on next Wednesday. Um, or Tuesday after my doctor's appointment, probably Wednesday, um, or whatever. And, um... You know, again, I'm only one centimeter and 50% dilated still. Um, she's moving around. She's having a little party in there. And I guess she's just like, hey, mom, I'm just going to relax in here. As long as she doesn't come on my birthday, which is June 6th, I'm happy. <laughs> I told her I'm not sharing with you. Mommy's not sharing her birthday with you. So I just want you to know that. I will hold you in until the 7th. <laughs> or make sure you come out on the 5th. Psych. <laughs> But yeah, whatever happens, happens. Vaginal C-section, as long as she's healthy and I'm healthy. And we're healthy for as long as we can in this life. <laughs> um, but yeah, everyone have a wonderful weekend and stay blessed. And um, I hope everyone enjoys the beautiful weather. Um, make, again, make sure everyone is hydrated and um, we're all at peace, you know. Love, not war. So everyone, you take care and uh, I'll update soon.